if it is that 99.999% of this universe cannot sustain life, and in the 0.0001% that can, this planet, it can't sustain life in certain parts, it can't sustain life during certain times, 80% mm -hmm. of living organisms have gone extinct, so, I mean, you're really trying to take this life existence and credit it to a designer? I mean, it's a crappy design. I mean, why, well, okay. why, if God designed the universe, how, why can't 100% of the universe sustain life? Okay, well, And how we, come, okay. so, sorry, go ahead. No, no, uh, it's a good question. It's the dysteleology question. I mean, if there is a God, why aren't we designed better? Or why, aren't there, why isn't there more life out there? Well, first of all, there's no way of knowing um, without knowing the intentions of the designer. I'll give you an example. Stephen Jay Gould, who was a, an evolutionist who taught at Harvard University for many years, wrote a book called Panda's Thumb. And what's Panda's Thumb? Well, he was saying that the panda had a very bony protrusion that came out of its hand. It wasn't an opposable thumb like we have. And he thought that this was not an adequate design for a panda. Well, there's no way you can know whether it's an adequate design or not unless you know the intentions of a designer, right? Uh, you'd have to know what the intentions were to say whether or not the thumb it had was good enough. Well, it turns out that thumb allowed the panda to strip bamboo and eat. It didn't allow the thumb to write books on a typewriter like Gould did. Okay, well, so what? Because something is not designed perfectly doesn't mean it isn't designed. Your car is not designed perfectly, but somebody designed it. And in a world full of uh, a fallen world like we have, a material world, there are engineers call it optimization. This laptop is designed for running these presentations but it can't run NASA. Why? There's not enough computing power in here. So you wouldn't say that this laptop it has crappy design because it can't run a NASA, the whole NASA program, but you might say it has good design for being carted around the country and running PowerPoint presentations. What is the intention of the design? You can't say something has bad design unless you know the intention of a design. You can't say a car is not designed properly because it doesn't carry 15 passengers if it wasn't designed to carry 15 passengers. It was a, a Volkswagen Beetle is intended to carry a half a person, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, it's not designed to carry 15, you can't fault it. You have to know the intentions before you can say something's not designed properly.